sure to check out angelsgeeks.com for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today in this video we're going to do something I guess I kind of do. So it's going to be how to make custom wired chains for your action figures and you're going to need a few things. So you're of course going to need some chains. These are 6x8 millimeters, I believe. And then you're gonna need, what is this, 20, 22 gauge bendy wire. And make sure you get silver so it matches with the chain. And then you're gonna need to get spikes. These ones are my favorite, they're the longest ones. They also have ones that are probably a little bit smaller than they do have like tiny ones like that. So you can get whatever spikes you want. I mean, if you're making it for Ghost Rider, he doesn't really have spikes on the end of his chain. I know some version of Ghost Rider goes, but uh, yeah, these spikes you can get on eBay or Amazon, so either or. And uh, you will also need some nippers and some pliers that I did not grab. Hold on. And bam! There they are. So this is all you're going to need to make some custom wired chains. You're gonna have to buy some bendy wire, some chains, some spikes, and then these are the only tools you really need. So let's get into it. All right, so with the chains here, you have really any options on how long you would like to make them. With my orders, I give customers two different options. So you could either get two 12 inch chains or you can get one 24 inch chain. So this one, the customer wants two 12 inch chains. So if you want to measure it out to a foot exactly, then you will need a ruler. So right there, there's a foot or 12 inches. So then what I do, I take the nippers because I can't get the pliers in there to open the, the, the chain link there. So I use the nippers to open the chain link. So I'm gonna take just that side off. Now, I'm gonna pinch this back together so the bendy wire doesn't pop through it. Now, if you get bendy wire that is too thin, sometimes, see, you could see there, there's still a little tiny gap in the chain there. Sometimes if the bendy wire is too thin, it will pop through there. So that's why I recommended the 22 uh, gauge bendy wire for these custom wire chains here. I always try to pinch it as hard as I can, but if you do it too hard, these are going to split apart and then the chain is gonna get messed up and then you gotta fix it again. So there's one 12 inch chain. Let's get one more for the customer here. So you just do the same thing for the other 12 inch chain. There we go. 12 inches or a foot. Then get in here. And we open that, take this side out, then pinch this to close it. Then we can start wiring the chain. All right, so we got our two chains. We can get rid of the ruler. We're done with the chains now. The spikes, we don't need these yet. But what I'm gonna do is just take them out and put them to the side. As you can see, I need to buy more. All right, and I do have an extra screw, so that's good. All right, so now with the bendy wire, what I do, since we have two 12 inch chains, I'm not just gonna give us 12 inches of bendy wire because you need a little, little extra to wrap around the chains so the bendy wire doesn't have the chain slide off. So we're gonna pull some of this bendy wire out. I like to try to straighten it too, because it's annoying when it's curled. All right, so this seems about good enough. So what I do here, I probably leave myself, you probably need like two and a half, or two to three inches extra uh, on the end of the chain. And you will do the same thing uh, for the other side as well. So what I like to do, this is actually an easier way to do it. Just lay out the chain. And then I think about here should be good. So then take the pliers, cut off the bendy wire you need to make your life easier. 
just cut the same exact size bendy wire since we have two pieces of chains. There we go. Let's get the other piece. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right, so now we are done with the bendy wire, getting bendy wire and chains. So next we are going to wire uh, the chains, which I'll probably speed it up in the video. So this is how I do it. All you do is just feed the bendy wire through each chain link here. So I just go back and forth. See how I'm doing it? It's really easy. Back, forth, back, forth. This is one of the easier parts. And then I just slide some of the chain down and then just continue doing it. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and probably speed it up. All right, so now we got the entire bendy wire on the chain and it blends in really nice. That's why I did mention to get silver bendy wire. So it blends in pretty good with the chains there. Cause if you got like, white bendy wire or green bendy wire. It would stick out like a sore thumb. All right, so next here, as you see the chain link, the part that connect, I put on the bottom, not on the top there, just in case, uh, so the bendy wire doesn't go through that, that little section that was still open there. So what we're gonna do now is take the pliers and we're gonna grab the tip or the end, one end of the bendy wire. So we're gonna start wrapping it. Okay, you're gonna put it in like a circular motion and we're gonna feed it through the chain link. And what I like to do, I like to feed it right through this side, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, there you go, you hungry fella. Let me feed you some more. Alrighty. <laughs> All right, so we did that. You can cut off a little bit of the uh, end of the bendy wire if you would like to. You don't have to. You can wait to, till you're done if you would like. So as you can see, you gotta keep bending this back too. All right, so as you can see, the hole right there is getting smaller and soon it will tighten its grip around the chain, just like a python. All right, so when I get, when, when that little hole gets real small, I start squeezing and kinda trying to push the rest of the bendy wire through it by squeezing and kind of pulling it that way, if that makes sense to you guys. So there we go. Now see, I mean, you could still kind of take the pliers, whoops, and kind of push down because there's still a little opening there. You can get it as tight as you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. It's, it's good enough that tight. And then we're going to do it one more time. Oh, actually, we're probably gonna do it another time. So when I do the two 12 inch chains, this end I put nothing on it, and then this end I'll put the spike on it. The one 24 inch chain, I put spikes on both ends. So when I'm just doing one end with nothing on it, I wrap this around three times. So we're on the second one right now. Let's keep wrapping this around here. And this video is for people who just like to make accessories themselves or if they, they don't want to buy custom stuff off people and you know how to do stuff yourself and these videos help you, then this is exactly what this video is for. All right, let's just tighten the second one on there and then tighten it like that. Then we're gonna do it one more time on this side only. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. And then we can cut this off. Alright, so we'll do this. So I'm going to try to tighten it as tight as I can. Then I'm going to cut right around here. Okay, so now there's only about that much bendy wire left. So what I'm going to do is point it down. And then uh, I might have left a little too much uh, bendy wire on there, but oh well, let's just wrap it around here. Now you really didn't, I, I, I left a little too much on the end. You could have cut it off. I'm trying to get it through so I can keep wrapping it, but 
don't know if I can get it. Let's see. All right, so that piece, you just wanna get it around like that so it looks like this, okay? So this is gonna be the one end. So one end is done. Now we're gonna do the spike end. And you don't need that much bendy wire on there, so we're gonna cut off maybe like a half an inch or something like that. So with this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Wrap it around twice, not three times. We're gonna do it twice. The thing with this though too, when you flip the chain this way, if you let go of it, it's gonna do that, all right? So keep that in mind and you want it as tight as you can. So when you're posing the chain around, the chain doesn't start moving around. I, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but probably does. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side, but we're gonna wrap it around the chain link only two times for these. Oh God. Only two times for the spike end. So we're gonna do that same curl with the circular motion. And I like to feed it onto this side and try to hold the bendy wire and that top chain link as tight as you can. You're not gonna get it perfect, but uh, it'll be good enough. You just don't want, you just want the chain link as tight from one end to the other as possible. Right, and cut a little bit bendy wire off here. All right, there's one loop. Now we're gonna do the second and final one for the spike side. Keep feeding that through there. All right, so this looks pretty good now. Let me just tighten it. Make sure it's fully tight there. All right, seems pretty good. So now what we're gonna do here with this end, straighten this out the best you can. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it'll help you when you're uh, putting the spike on. All right, so we got that. And then what I do here, I go right about here, and then I do a 90 degree bend, pretty much. So it's like that, okay? So next, I remember, you're doing both chains exactly the same. So next here, we're getting close to the final steps. Your chain, wired chains, will almost be ready. So we're gonna do this and start turning this in a circular motion as well. See what I'm doing there? All right, so what I'm gonna do here is this and that. And try to make this hole as tiny as you can, but not super tiny. Like that, that right there is good enough. You could make it a little more tighter if you want, but you don't have to. See, what we're going to do now is take the screw here for the spike. And we're going to feed it through that little hole. Okay. And next, what we're going to do is tighten the wire around the bottom of the screw. So... Tighten it now. There we go. And there we go. And then do that. And then we're gonna cut the, the wire about here, okay? So you don't have like a ton of bendy wire there, but you have a little bit to wrap around the screw. Now remember, you have to screw the spike on there, so don't entirely cover the screw with the bendy wire. I mean, I might have left a little too much bendy wire on there, but I mean, you can cut it off if you want, or you don't have to add this much. Like I might cut some off. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a little piece off. All right, this should be good. So we're just gonna keep tightening the bendy wire around the screw until we get to the end there, okay? 
So that's how it should be. Once you put the screw on, it's gonna push it down more. So if the bendy wire is like halfway up, don't worry about it because the screw here will push it down. So now we're just gonna screw on the screw, make it as tight as you can, and you can just do it with your hands. And then see how we have a little bit of bendy wire left in between the, the spike and chain. So what I do is try to center that the best I can. And then uh, there we go. Now we have a custom wired chain and you can do whatever you want with it with your figure. You can do something like this. I always like doing this with the custom chain. Like they just threw it out. Very uh, anime like or comic booky like that's cool to do you know so that's how easy it is to make custom wire chains i mean it's it's not the most difficult thing but if you like making custom items or if you want to learn how to make custom wire chains for your figures or if you don't want to buy them off anyone then uh, this is how you make them and like i said i do two 12 inch chains so i i, I gotta make the other one but I'm going to show you guys some pictures here at the end. And that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will catch you on the next episode of Daredevil 19. And I'll see you later. But stay tuned for the pictures that a lot of you probably saw already.